there and cow. Cow! Yes, sweetie, cow. Cow! Paul, where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Rule Exer, Rule Exploration and Documentation. If you haven't guessed it by now, which I'm sure you probably have by the lead-in to the video, today's episode is going to be on Chick-fil-A, and more specifically, the Chick-fil-A next to the Riverstone Walmart in Canton. Now, this store hasn't gone out of business, as anyone who lives in the Cherokee County area knows, but has moved down the road across Interstate 575 to a new location where a BP gas station, I think, and subway shop used to sit to increase the size of the restaurant and redesign their drive through to better serve their customers. Now being that this used to be what it was, this isn't something one sees every day, an abandoned Chick-fil-A store. So that's why I decided to film it and preserve the look of this place before it gets bought up by someone and either gets remodeled so much as to be unrecognizable or demolished and something else built in its place. The building, both inside and out, seemed to be in very good shape and someone or some company or other franchise could buy the place up and with very little money turn it into another restaurant, either fast food or casual dining in a very little time. So now, we're going to take a tour around the place and also give you a look on the inside as much as possible, of course, from the outside. Now we're walking up to the store on the side, on the, the actual right side of the, of the restaurant itself to give you a look on the inside. And it looks like they're maintaining uh, the, the grass and, for the most part, the shrubbery and landscaping around the restaurant uh, very well. As you can see, the door is very dirty, so um, I apologize for not being able to get too good of a, a shot on the inside across the counter area where you would place your order at. very dirty right there and getting a lot of refre reflection off of that sorry about that now we're looking actually at the dining area uh, on that same side and they have completely gutted this area taken out all of the um, tables and stools and, and booths and everything that used to be in there. They may have uh, moved it down to their new location or they may have just gotten rid of it. I really don't know, but all of the uh, seating area, all the seating equipment is, is completely gone. They do have some partitions there, as you can see. Still getting a lot of reflection from that. Sorry about that. Now we're looking on the, ins uh, the front side of the, of the restaurant, looking straight in up towards the um, counter where you place your order at. There are a few tables, high tables, over there on the left side, as you can see, that are left. They may be attached to the floor. That may have been the reason why they left those. The other equipment may have been just sitting on the floor or bolted down, but those may be actually uh, somehow attached into the floor. Now 
now we're, we are on the uh, drive through side of the restaurant looking across at, to the other side as you can see uh, there's a high table right there directly in front now we're just taking a look at the outside towards the drive through right there trying to block the the sun out of the lens so it wouldn't get so much of a reflection but I got my hand in the way there sorry about that getting a wide angle shot with my camera trying to get the whole restaurant in there and now we are looking at the back side of the restaurant at the uh, menu board for the drive through and looking around the corner towards the drive through window. And there's that old BP uh, lot over there where that BP uh, got torn down just recently. I just done a uh, very short video on that showing the lot now that the uh, BP, the the gas station is uh, billing is completely gone the tanks are pulled up out of the ground and everything of course now we are looking at the uh, menu board itself from a different angle this brings us to the end of another episode of the rule excerpt rule exploration and documentation i hope you've enjoyed this look at the now abandoned riverstone chick-fil-a in ken and if you did, please give it a like. And for more similar content, please consider subscribing to my channel and click on the bell icon at the top to be notified when I upload new videos. And to help out monetarily, please consider donating to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash theruralxer to help toward expenses of time, equipment, and travel to bring you these videos. A big thank you to all my subscribers so far, which I have now hit a big 40. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I am very thankful and grateful to and for everyone. And if you know someone who might like videos and history of abandoned places like this, please share this channel with them and encourage them to also subscribe. And to keep up with me, follow me on Facebook and or Instagram. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. God bless you and keep you safe, and I will see you in my next video.